Every once in a while, a revolutionary product comes along that changes everything. June 29th marks the five-year anniversary of the iPhone's debut. No other device in recent memory has had the impact that the iPhone has had here in Silicon Valley and throughout the world. So I hope you enjoy this trip down memory lane as we see all the innovations that Apple has brought to the industry through the iPhone. 1984, we introduced the Macintosh. In 2001, we introduced the first iPod. We're introducing three revolutionary products of this class. Three things, an iPod, a phone, and an internet communicator. An iPod, a phone. Are you getting it? These are not three separate devices. This is one device, and we are calling it iPhone. Today, Apple is going to reinvent the phone. But what we're going to do is get rid of all these buttons and just make a giant screen. Let's put them all together and see what you can do in a real life scenario. And let's see what happens when I get a phone call. Music fades out, screen changes. I got a phone call coming in. Oh, I was hoping you were done, because there's a, there's a photo that you had of Hawaii. I was kind of hoping you could send it to me. And uh, I go into photos. There it is. So you want me to mail this to you, Phil? Oh, that'd be great. All right. So I, again, I just go down here and push this button. Phil Schiller, there we go. And uh, the email's there. Yep, it's there. And I'm just going to send it. I'm just going to go ahead and end the call. And uh, what happens now? Back in my music. This is what mail looks like on these smartphones. Again, this is what mail looks like on iPhone. This is what calendars look like on these guys. That's what calendars look like on iPhone. This is what the web looks like. And we tried to make it look as good as we could on these. It usually looks worse. And this is what you get. And uh, of course, this is what you get on iPhone. Phones, regular cell phones are kind of right there. They're not so smart. And they're you know, not so easy to use. What we want to do is make a leapfrog product this is what iPhone is. Oh, a stylus, right? No. You have to get them and put them away and you lose them. Yuck. We're going to use our fingers. Multi-touch. It works like magic. And boy, have we patented it. Software on mobile phones. It's like baby software. We're going to show you a software breakthrough. iPhone runs OS X. People who are really serious about software should make their own hardware. All that stuff can be moved over to iPhone completely automatically. It's got a three and a half inch screen on it. And on the front, there's only one button down there. We call it the home button. On the back, the biggest thing of note is we got a two megapixel camera built right in. It fits beautifully in the palm of your hand. Just push the sleep wake button. And there we go, right there. And to unlock the phone, I just take my finger and slide it across. And I scroll. Well, let's go into Dylan here. Let's play like a Rolling Stone. I want to show you uh, a movie playing. Let's play Pirates of the Caribbean, the second one here. Great movie, by the way. It's amazing how hard it is to make calls on most phones. Most people actually dial them every time. Just like email, you can go directly to the voicemails that interest you. When you get a call, this is what it sounds like. It's one of our ringtones you can pick, of course. <coughs> I could turn on a speakerphone like this if I wanted to. Hey, Johnny, how you doing? I'm good. How you doing? Well, it's been two and a half years, and I, I can't tell you how thrilled I am to make the first public phone call with iPhone. Whoa, whoa, what is this? I've got another call coming in. So I put Johnny on hold, and hi, Phil. Hi, oh, Steve. I want you to be the first call. Do you have anything to say on the first phone call? It, it's, uh, it's not too shabby, is it? I've got this little keyboard, which is phenomenal. It, and there it is. And to go through pictures, I just swipe them. We call it the pinch. I can bring them closer together or move them further apart to make it bigger or smaller. And so I can just move them further apart and stretch the image. And rather than just give you a WAP version of the New York Times, we're showing you the whole New York Times website. I can just double tap on anything and it automatically 
fills up the screen with it. You just double tap again to get back to the full page. Isn't this cool? You know, if you've ever used what's called a web browser on a mobile phone, you'll know how incredible this is. I hope you never really know <laughs> because it's, it's bad out there today. And we're going to load stock information off the web and uh, just right onto the phone here. Oh, look, Apple's up. Google Maps on iPhone. So I'm going to search for Starbucks. And sure enough, there's all the Starbucks. And I can even go look at that Starbucks. And there it is. And let's give them a call. Good morning. I'm Starbucks. How can I help you? Yes, I'd like to order 4,000 lattes to go, please. No, just kidding. <laughs> Wrong number. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> satellite images. So I just hit this button called Satellite down at the bottom. And it's going to replace the map with satellite images. There we go. Right on my phone. It's unbelievable. Introduce Dr. Eric Schmidt, Google's CEO. If we just sort of merge the companies, we could call them Apple Goo. Um, but I'm not a marketing guy. From my perspective, this is the first of a whole new generation of data services where these powerful based cloud computers that the Safari browser that's embedded in the iPhone and many other of its type devices and future devices out of Apple will be able to take advantage. Steve, my congratulations to you and this product is going to be hot. As a board member, you'll get one of the first ones. <laughs> yeah. Jerry Yang, co-founder and chief Yahoo. I'm not a board member of Apple, but I would love to have one of these too. Wow, all this for a phone, pretty in incredible, and, and, and what a great device, Steve. Steve, my address, you got it all. Please send it to me. Thanks again. Thanks, great Jerry. to be your partner. The CEO of Singular, Stan Sigmund. You know, Steve and I, first met uh, about two years ago in New York City when he shared with me this vision that he had for this product and actually entered into a contractual agreement without us ever seeing the device. It's really, really cool. And I brought with me another company to celebrate in this. It's the new AT&T. This is going to be a terrific ride. Thank you guys so much. You've really helped us put the internet in your pocket. After today, I don't think anyone's going to look at these phones quite the same way again. It's five years ahead of anything on any other phone. iPhone is like having your life in your pocket. What about developers? You can write amazing Web 2.0 and Ajax apps that look exactly and behave exactly like apps on the iPhone. You can go live on June 29th. We shipped our first iPhones on June 29th. Best invention of the year. This is the phone that has changed phones forever. We're introducing the iPhone 3G. It's got a full plastic back, solid metal buttons. You can see that the 3G speeds are actually approaching Wi-Fi, GPS. And of course, it has the software development kit in it. Everything they've told us they wanted, we have built right into iPhone 2.0 software out of the box. We've added full iWork document support, Microsoft Office documents too, bulk delete and move, the ability to save images. So you just turn the calculator into landscape mode and it turns into a scientific calculator. You can say no more YouTube this month. You know, the iPhone started off at $599 for an 8 gig iPhone. It now sells for $399 for an 8 gig iPhone. And we want to make it even more affordable. And I'm really happy to tell you that the iPhone 3G is going to sell for $199. So I am really excited to tell you about an entirely new version, the iPhone 3GS. There's a brand new 3 megapixel autofocus camera. It also captures video. It's also a built-in digital compass. It will orient the map to the heading you're facing with your iPhone. Just $199 iPhone OS 3.0, cut, copy, and paste, MMS. Spotlight is a single location on your home screen that allows you to search across your phone. We're introducing iPhone 4, an all-new design. Glass on the front and the rear, and stainless steel running around, 24% thinner. Now the retina display has 326 pixels per inch. We're using IPS technology, powered by the A4 chip. And 
we've tied the gyro and the accelerometer and even the compass together to provide six, ash, six ax, axis motion sensing. I practiced this a little bit. <laughs> oh. What we've done is we've gone from a three megapixel to a five megapixel backside illuminated sensor. And we've got an LED flash built in. But that's not all. The camera also records HD video. We're going to rename it iOS 4. The biggest being multitasking. We've got this great new folder system. Hey, Johnny. We call this FaceTime. This is my first product launch since being named CEO. iPhone 4S. Inside, it is all new. It has a new chip inside. It's a dual core processor. It's also dual core graphics, to seven times faster than they were in the previous iPhone. And now, that doubles to up to 14.4 megabits per second down. An eight megapixel sensor. Backside illuminated 73% more light, but third faster. A hybrid IR filter, more accurate and more uniform colors across your whole picture from edge to edge. Five Apple design custom lenses, 30% sharper. And the lens opening is now a really wide f2.4. Inside the A5 is an Apple design image signal processor too. So for doing things like advanced face detection algorithms, white balance, 1.1 second. So you're going to take another picture, it's just a half a second longer. Now 1080p HD video, video image stabilization. Everything you see on your screen can be up on TV. Left one thing out. Siri is your intelligent assistant that helps you get things done just by asking. Siri figures out the meaning. We've also partnered with Yelp, Wolfram Alpha. So press and hold, tap on the I button, now here's all the sorts of things you can do with Siri. It comes in black and white. What puts Apple way out front is how they're engineered to work together so well. This is the phone that has changed phones forever. It's five years ahead of anything on any other phone. I skate to where the puck is going to be, not where it has been. And we've always tried to do that at Apple since the very, very beginning. And we always will. So thank you very, very much for being a part of this.